Hello and welcome back to SMJ Tech Channel everyone and the topic of today's video is how to insert table of contents in your document. As you can see I have created a document uh, that's open in front of me where uh, there's a table of contents about my document which has uh, specific uh, topics in there, there are headings uh, that are defined and based on that my table of content is there. So today I'll be covering how to add this table of content to your document. So let's start off. Let me shift over to a plain document that doesn't have this table at this point in time as you can see. We have uh, these table, this uh, document created in front of us, and it doesn't have any table of contents. So how would I go about it? First things first, before beginning or before inserting a table of content, you need to make sure that your document has proper headings uh, formatted, defined, and everything, as you can see. Uh, I have already covered this uh, document formatting part in one of my earlier earlier videos that uh, you, you can see from the i card is basically uh, how you can you know define headings in a document. So make sure that your document has uh, predefined headings there and uh, and they're formatted properly. And once they're done, like I've done in my document, so just to show you guys the dark blue part this is the title page then we have this is my main heading heading one and the light blue ones are the uh, second headings subheadings and then we have level three headings over here and i have defined uh, level several four headings in my document so I have uh, defined this uh, as per my need in the document. Now I need to insert a table of content. So I'll, let me just uh, zoom it a bit so you guys can see it easily. First, I'll need to insert a page. Although I can just click over here and insert a table of content but it's always a better uh, option to insert a table of content on a new page so that you have a clear page and that page should only have a table of contents and not, nothing else uh, that's a more appropriate of uh, way of going about it so first i'll add an insert page it's similar to what i did uh, in one of my previous videos as you can see let me just remove this line so now i have a title page a blank page and the first heading of my document so i'll head over to the blank page first line and just to mention i have also created uh, previously shared a video about how to insert a blank page like i just did so you guys can also go through it. It will cover more details over there. So in order to insert table of contents, it's uh, it's not going to be in the insert part because it's uh, it's a reference uh, of your document's heading. So we will find it in references. So that's it. Uh, most of the people get confused that they're, they're trying to search the table of contents in the insert part because most of the items that need to be inserted in a document are uh, found there however since uh, conceptually this is a reference of items in your document so that's why it's fo it's found in the references uh, ribbon so over here you can see in the very first uh, in the very left corner of of this ribbon it's uh, there's an icon over there table of contents and uh, once you click on it you can find uh, pre-built table of contents that are available for you and uh, let me choose just this one yeah. okay so it's showing me it's automatically generated my 
table of contents with the heading and it's uh, intended all the headings as per their level so uh, let me just show you a few things that you can uh, modify in your table of contents over here you can see it's showing me that heading number one will be the more will be starting on from uh, from most left part of of uh, of my margin and then heading two will be slightly intended or uh, forward then heading three um, even for, for further than that so it depends how many headings uh, level of headings you have so since uh, i have used up till four levels over here you can see there are uh, there's an option for you to show the levels I select four and it now immediately shows me a preview of how level head uh, heading level four will be shown also I'm uh, given a pro option to select how I want them to be formatted I want them to be formatted from the template that I've used for my document or I can use a classic format that's there so there are distinctive fancy modern so there are different pro there are, there are different formats available for you that you can choose from but it's always better to align it with your the rest of your documents um, fonts and everything so it, it should be aligned with the template that you're using that's a good practice although it's up to you to use any format you want also over here the tab leader is basically these dotted lines that you see so i can choose either uh, these uh, you know small dashes or a single line so it's all up to me i can choose from these three options let me choose these dashed lines and it's uh, also i can put a check mark over here if i want to show page numbers if I won't, it will only show me the headings without the page numbers. Uh, but uh, since you're creating a table of content, it's always a good idea to include the page numbers. So everyone knows if someone is reading the document, they, they can you know jump onto the right page if they want to. And uh, you can also select uh, if you uh, want to write align the page numbers. So that's an important thing. Most of us uh, forget this and you can see that the page number although mentioned is immediately written after the heading name so it can confuse the reader in uh, understanding whether it's a page number or is part of the heading so it's always better to right align the page number so there's a gap between the heading and the, its page number and in case you're showing any hyperlinks it will also show you how it will look uh, over there so uh, before pressing ok let me show you what options you have so over here you can apply different styles and if you remove the check mark those are removed for you otherwise you can you know modify the styles of heading one two three four which are selected uh in my uh, theme that i've selected for my or the template that i've selected for my document and uh in case i don't want to outline the levels i will remove this and uh, table entry fields basically it's showing me that uh to include uh or you know leave out any table entries if if there are any such things also i can modify i can modify how uh, my styles look so i'm going to leave it at as it is because i don't want to change it from from the you know template that i've used so i want to make sure that uh, since it's predefined in my template in case you want to modify it then you can do it through here so right now i'm going to leave it as it is and i'm going to click ok so this is what happens uh, where basically i selected i selected the uh, you know the outline so it has added this part so let me just change that because it's uh, it has changed 
the way I wanted it to look. Basically, it has included the outlines as well. So any subheadings and outlines that I've mentioned in my document are being shown over here. So I can re-modify my table over here. All right, before I do that, I can uh, let me show you another neat trick. It's about if, for example, I want to remove this table of content, I'll just select it and do it from here. Or I can you know, head over here, select the options, okay, and presto. Yes. Okay, so we have this table of content in front of us. Now let's see how, uh, in case I add a new uh, new entry in my document, how it will reflect it over here. So I have this, uh, let me just go over to the very end of this document. And let me just select this part. Just for everyone's reference, I've picked it up from this uh, just edu.jo that has a very interesting document about introduction to computers. So I've used this content for my document. So let me just format this as a new heading, heading one. And let me just uh, do a bit of formatting for my document. It's always a good idea to have your documents formatted in a proper manner because it shows that you have spent some time in, uh, you know, going through the document. So I've added this new uh, heading to my document. So let's see how my table of content is affected by it. So over here, you can see that it's not showing over here because it's not a dynamic thing. So I have to update it. So let me just uh, head over to the, I just click on the heading and I click update table. It will give me two options. It will, ask me to update page numbers only and update the entire table. So just to show you guys, if I select update page numbers only, it will only update the page numbers if they're changing. Right now I haven't changed any page number uh, on the existing heading, so it, they remain the same, but it won't add any new entry to the table. For that, I have to select update entire table. That will tell Word to update the entire table of contents based on the headings that are defined within the document from the start to the end. And as soon as I do it, it's gonna show me the heading that I just added. So uh, just a shortcut for everyone, although it's also showing over here, if you want to go over to any of the headings, you just click on control in your keyboard and uh, left click on your mouse and you will uh, word will automatically take you to that point in your document where you clicked so here we are folks we have generated table of contents successfully in our document so in if any of you uh, are want to insert a doc insert a table of contents in your document Please make sure that you guys have uh, first created or uh, assigned proper headings formatted in your document. And then once you're done with it, then you can uh, insert a page uh, up front of your document wherever you want them to be shown and insert uh, the reference of page uh, table of contents and there you'll have it. So I hope uh, this video will help you in adding new table of contents in your documents. And uh, if it did, then please click like and remain subscribed to the uh, to the channel so you can you know learn new things uh, about any of uh, Microsoft Word features or 
Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, MS Project. So I'll be covering a few things uh, up front. So uh, until our next video, please take care and Allah Hafiz.